Once you have the stress pattern, you then have to decide what division the pulse is. In other words, you have to figure out if the stress pattern is groups of eighths, quarters, halves, or what. Clearly in this pattern, we have one, two, one, two, and this is one and two and one and two and, but we have to figure out whether these are quarter notes or half notes or what. If these are quarter notes, then the and is an eighth note. Two and one and two and. If this is a half note, then this is half quarter, half quarter, half quarter, half quarter. Once you know the size of the group, how many? One, two, one, two, or one, two, three, one, two, three, four, etc. And you know the division of the group, whether that pulse is an eighth, a quarter, a half note, or what, then you will be able to construct a time signature. The time signature appears at the far left of the staff between the clef and the key signature. It's a fraction, and it tells you two things. The top number tells how many beats per measure, how many beats in that stress pattern, and the bottom number tells you what division that beat is. Now let's take a closer look at these time signatures. 2-2 two, two means there are two beats per measure, and the beat is the half note, so every measure has two half notes. 3-2 means there are three half notes per measure, and if you look at that, there are three half notes. Let's look at the second line, 2-4. That means there are two beats per measure, and the quarter note is the beat. So if you look at the measure, there are two quarter notes per measure. The next one is 3-4. There are three quarter notes per measure. By far the most common time signature of all is 4-4. Four, four. four quarter notes per measure. If you look at the third line, we have the division is the eighth note. 2-8, 3-8, 4-8, so on. Once you have figured out that, for instance, a 4-4 four, four measure has four quarter notes in it, you have to remember that quarter notes are not the only possible divisions. The idea is that whatever rhythms appear in the measure, they have to add up to four quarter notes. And we know these sums from the first rhythm class. A uh, whole note has four quarter notes in it, or it has two quarter notes and four eighth notes, or it has one quarter note, one half note, and one quarter note. All these sums add up to four quarter notes. In most music theory classes, including this one, you will be asked to look at a measure and figure out if it has the right number of beats in it. Again, a quick check to figure out if a measure has the right number of beats in it is to notice what the fastest note value is and then count up groups of those. For instance, we know that in a 4-4 measure, we have eight eighth notes. So if eighth note is the fastest division present, then you just add up groups. In this first measure, there's eight eighth notes. Well, that adds, adds up right. In the next measure, there's two quarter notes and four eighth notes. Well, that adds up right, and so on. Just figure out groups of eighth notes. If it adds up to eighth, then it's correct. 